Hey you guys, it's your girl Nini and I'm so excited to be back with another video. Today we're going to talk about how I reach my personal goals each month and five things that I do in order to reach them and just make them overall more attainable. I'm so much more aware of my goals and how I'm progressing to them throughout the month. So I'm going to tell you guys what I do. Before anything, you guys know I always suggest you do your own research. And remember, this is my disclaimer, I do not work for or represent Amazon. These are my opinions. They are my own opinions and do not reflect official rules of Amazon. And I am not a representative of Amazon. Okay. Also, you guys, of course, I got to let you know that my next ebook drops July the 3rd. It's all about becoming a product reviewer. So these are instant downloads you can learn from your phone. And I'm so excited about it. So if you want to know about my other ebooks or my one on one content session calls that you guys can definitely take part of if you're interested, the link is in the description of this video. All right, you guys, let's get into those five things that I do in order to help me meet my goals for each month. And the first one, is I use a goal tracker sheet and not just any sheet. I use my own that I personally created for all of my streams of income because I needed to track how much income I'm bringing in all throughout the month and seeing it visually really helps me to attain them better. Like I would make monthly goals y'all and I would just have the number in my head and I would hope, you know, I would work toward it, but seeing the sheet and seeing my goals written out and actually shading in each goal when I make it every month really, really helps me work towards my goals. It helps me to be more aware and to reach a lot of my goals, you guys. So my sheet is really detailed. It's colorful. It's an instant download. It is available on my website as well. It's in the description of this video and it is on sale right now. So you guys, this is something that you can download and use whenever you want. You can print out a new copy every single month if you want to. That is what I do personally and it highlights how much I'm making and it's also customizable. I absolutely love it and it has really helped me keep track of my income goals. So that's the first thing that I use. The second thing that I do to meet my goals and to help me stay aware of my goals is I use another goal sheet that I created and it's specifically for my product review videos. So you guys know I love creating product review videos and I created this sheet to help me meet my goals with how many videos I wanted to upload and create per month. It is really important. It's really important for me to set a number so that I can kind of work toward it. So I think the month of June, I don't even know what my number was. I definitely didn't reach my number of product review videos that I wanted to create, but I actually have a number in my mind of how many I did create. So I can kind of pivot for next month and determine whether my goal was unattainable or it just needs to be tweaked a little bit and I think that having that sitting down and shading in every time or every number of review videos that I've created is so helpful to me so basically I keep track of them because I have sections for each like 10 or 15 or so videos and as I create them I shade in my tracker or my goal sheet and I'm able to see okay it's say the 15th of the month and I've done 34 videos exactly my goal is 50 so maybe I need to do like one to two a day for the rest of the month to meet my goal seeing it and visualizing it is so helpful for me you guys and even though I did not reach my product review video goal this month it was pretty high you guys and this has been a pretty busy month I know that I know exactly how many I made and I know what is attainable for me in the next next month instead of trying to just ballpark it you know so that is the second thing I use and the third thing I use you guys is I have another video review sheet and it is a tracker so this is more is this is not about how many videos I made this is about what products I reviewed and how many videos I have for each product so when I make product reviews I may do a tutorial I may do an unboxing I may do a one month update I do a lot of different kind of videos, but I need to know, I need it on paper and I need to know what product has how many videos. So I usually don't do um, a ton of videos per product, I usually do about three, but for me, I need to see what product has how many videos. I have a lot of products and if I 
do not physically keep track of how many videos each product has, something will go unreviewed and I don't want that to happen. I want to keep track of what I reviewed, how many videos it has, do I still have the product, did I give it away, whatever, and my video review tracker does all that for me. I have it, again, very detailed, y'all, okay? I made it very detailed, and these, all these sheets that I'm talking about are available in the description, is the website, y'all, and they're all on sale right now, but this tracker helps me to remember, do I even still have this product? What's the name of the product? What category is this product in? Is it like a home product? Is it a beauty product? Is it a fashion product? Of course, I'll know, but keeping them like sectioned off and in order and in line helps me so much because I have so many products, you guys. I don't even know exactly how many, but with my tracker, I can track them and I can keep count, okay? It also um, lets me know, did I create the first video, okay? I can check that off. Did I create the second? I have checkbox for the first, second, and third video, and I just go in detail more about the product, more about my videos, and I have sections where I can like keep notes. Did this work out well? Was this something that I want to look more into and get another product similar to it? It's all there for me to write down and jot down if I want to put that in my notes section, and it's so helpful, y'all. So that is the third thing I use, and the next thing I do is actually not something I use. It's just something that I do that helps me meet my goals, and it's check my analytics daily. I check my analytics for all of the different goals that I've set constantly, and I'm not saying obsess over it. Of course not. We don't want to do that, but I do keep a very watchful eye on it. I do check and see how I'm progressing um, very, very often. And that goes in part with me using my tracker sheets. As I'm checking my analytics, I'm writing in my tracker sheets and I'm checking how I'm working towards my goals. I think it's so important. And once I started doing that, y'all, it was so much easier for me to visualize. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. It was so much easier for me to visualize where I was at towards my goals and what I need to do to meet those goals, especially if I'm off for the month or it's just like a, a really busy month or whatever. It has been so helpful and I'm so really, really into and believe that writing things down really, really helps like pen and paper and having these tracker sheets that I can download each month and reprint out and customize for myself and write everything out has really been such a big deal and helped me meet my goals. So the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys that I do is I suggest you be open to pivot if you need it. Sometimes one thing is working better than the another thing, which may be the thing that you do that creates you the most success. But if it's not working this month, it just might not be working this month. And if you need to pivot your content because something else is being bringing you more success, I think that as long as you're comfortable with that and it's safe and not, you know, crazy or anything, you should or I would personally, I would consider pivoting because I've had to do that before. Um, I've had things that were my main or one of my top three income streams really just go down, like go way down or just not perform like it usually does. And I have to pivot to something else that I'm not as familiar with, but is working for me. The important thing is to work towards the goal. So I try not to get too hung up on, well, this is what I've been doing for this many years. I'm so comfortable with this. I try to not get hung up on not try to be uncomfortable because say maybe you have a blog and your blog is your main source of income. It does great. It's been going great for five years and then it just plummets. But your TikTok account is creating a lot of engagement. You're not familiar with TikTok, but you see that it's working. You see that it's bringing you success. Maybe that's something that I would personally pivot to. This is just a simple example. I'm not talking about you guys in general. I'm not even talking about myself. I just made that up. But that's an example of pivoting if needed and if you're comfortable with it and it's a safe option. So you guys, as always, continue to create, be patient, and grow. You guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And 
let me know about any of your income streams that you're really into right now. I know it says what it says up there, but I forgot to change it, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what type of videos you want in the future. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great day and a great week. Keep creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.